Can you hear Kirst? Because I call. Ah, sorry, so my radio pulled out a little bit there, but look what we've got. We've got mating lions. Well, looks like mating lions. It's definitely one female and one of the Birminghams. Now, I can't tell which female it is yet, but this is a big surprise. We were busy tracking Tundi and Tumba, who are also in the middle of Juma and walking around in this area, and we heard an Kudu alarm call, and I thought it was for Tundi and Tumba, and we came back and we managed to see these lions walking through the grass. So I'm not sure who exactly it is just yet, but this is so cool to see and it's such good news that we're starting to see the lions back on Juma. It looks like Tinyo from far of the Birminghams, but the female, I'm really not sure just yet. I wonder if it's not Amber Eyes or one of the Inkuhumas. Let's just see when they come out. It looks like one of the Inkuhuma lionesses. It does look like the one with the spotty nose. That's difficult behind that branch. But it does look like the Inkuma female, the spotty nose. And I wonder if maybe some of the other Inkumas aren't here as well. I know that there's been trucks of them up and down. And another pride of lions was just found up in Biffle's Hook. And so I wonder if this just isn't some of them. But really, really great news to see. And I'm so excited that we managed to find them. Oh, I see the Birmingham boy is coming. So it looks like just the two of them. And this is really very exciting. I wonder if they're not going to go towards Treehouse Dam. But that does look like Tinho. This is so cool. And she's just coming up here. You can see they're still watching these kudu. So just now you would have heard the kudu barking. And they would have been making this sort of almost dog-like sound. And... That was them just shouting at these lions. They saw the male walking. The female looked like she was quite interested in stalking. But unfortunately, when you've got a big clumsy Birmingham boy following you, it makes life a little bit more difficult. Now, he's just laid down again. I think he's watching where she goes. And I'm hoping they're going to come out of this horrible thicket that they're in because it's not very easy here. And it's certainly not a place for a vehicle to be able to negotiate very well. But I am going to try and see if I can't reposition a little bit so we can get a better view and see exactly which female it is. Now, if any of you out there got a good look and were able to sort of ID this female, Email, then you can let me know on hashtag safari live so let's see how we go with her Craig did you see where she went now the trick is when you've got a male and female line like this is always to stay with the female because the male will follow wherever she goes she's the sort of most important part of the whole process and so you'll find wherever she moves he'll often then be close behind her and I'm just going to try and see if I can't see where she went she was somewhere here around this termite mound but it looks like she's going to go into this sort of horrible thicket and drainage section no I can't see her I think she's gone further down but let's see if we can't get a view of him then in the meantime Like I said, not very pleasant. For sure. Yes, well, I can agree with that. I think, like I say, it's difficult because I haven't really gotten a good view of her. Now, this Birmingham male is also standing up a little bit, and so I'm sure he's going to walk, but he's in the horrible thicket as well. Let me go back for you, Craig. It's going to be better if I go back. There he is, he's just sort of standing watching her walking along. Now, it's amazing how well these animals must camouflage because I walked, well, we actually drove past here already once and didn't see them. We watched the kudu for a bit and they looked a little bit alert but they weren't really shouting and so I thought it wasn't really anything to worry about but as it turns out, I should have actually trusted our instinct and watched what was going on. Now, there he comes. It's definitely Tinyo that's coming past us now. So that's cool to see. And I wonder where the rest are. There were three Birminghams together last night, not too far south of our boundary. So I would imagine that the rest of them can't be too far. And particularly if there's a female that's in heat, you'll find that... They try and get in there. Now, we're going to try and see if we can't keep up with these two. And while we do that, I believe Brent is still with his cheetah in the Masamara.